Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. We're revisiting the uh, paracord knuckle roller in this guy here. So this is the second iteration of this guy. So as you can see, the slight differences are that there are snake knots in the middle and it's a little bit longer. So there's nothing wrong with um, this version. I did find it's a little short. Um, you could always make this one a little bit longer and still keep those two strands in the middle, but I like I tried um, putting the snake knots down the middle and it actually feels quite nice and quite different. So when you use it, it's a little bit more uh, rigid, a little bit more substantial when you uh, are manipulating the knuckle roller, as you can see here, I'm getting a little bit better. It's a little hard to do right in front of the camera right now. But anyhow, yep, this is what we're doing. And uh, yeah, I think you guys will like it. So uh, remember to check out those affiliate links down below if you want to support the channel. You can support by buying stuff through those links as well as checking me out on Patreon. All right, that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so to start this uh, version 2 knuckle roller, we're going to start it the same way as we did the last one. We're going to tie the double diamond knot. Got two strands of white paracord here. Uh, you can use two separate colors if you want. I like the single color look. So I'm going to start off um, tying the Carex bend as we always do. So give yourself a little bit of excess just in case. It'll be easier to work with. Um, maybe over a foot and a half on this side, but we're going to adjust it. Okay, so you're going to take a strand on your right. You're going to make a loop. Lay that on top of the strand on the left. Take that strand on the left, go behind this strand here, and then go over, under, over. So over the first one under the middle and over last one pull that all the way over we have our carex bend okay from here take the strand on the right go in behind this little lobe here and then you're going to follow this strand all the way around okay this one here go all the way around so go under this first one, bring it all the way around. Okay, it's going to form a, another loop up top. Bring it around, go under this one, and then over, uh, over this one, and then under and over. See, just following exactly where this one goes and let it sit like that nicely and there you go okay so that's one side now we're going to do the same thing on this side <clears throat> we're going to bring this around and you're going to go in through here bring that up and then you're going to follow this strand here this time okay so you're going to go all the way and out that side. So go through this opening here, bring it up, make sure it's not twisted. Okay, bring that around to this side. Bring that up into here under and over <clears throat> and that's pretty much it so now from here you're going to bring these uh, the strand on the right bring it around and go through the middle like so okay so it's here go through the middle and out same thing on this side bend it backwards and put it through the middle there okay and then now we close this up and cinch it up okay so just slowly take your time and let this not form properly and just um, cinch up this knot and then have it placed as close to here as possible
So I've tied that first double diamond knot and um, I, I got all the excess cinched out. All I did was I used my knotter's tool here to, you know, pull and pry and get all that excess out. So really useful for that purpose. So before we move on, I want to make this one look a lot nicer. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, um, we're going to cut off the excess paracord here. You can do this at the end, but I'm just going to do it now just to show you. Um, we're going to cut off that excess. And then we're going to take our lighter and our knotter's tool. So I'm going to melt and press down the end, and then I'm going to tuck it inside the double diamond knot. I think it'll look a lot nicer, so let's do that real quick. Let's give that a little bit of a singe. Not too much. Press that down. And now with this tool, hopefully this works, I'm just going to gradually push everything in so that it's hidden because this melted uh, cord here is not going to look very nice. All right, so with a bit of effort, I got that end tucked in, and there's still a really small hole here, but as you can see, if you just continue working that knot, you can probably get that little opening closed. Not a big deal. Still looks much better than that um, little hideous melted glob there. So you can do that. Now we're going to tie our three snake knots. So take uh, the left strand, put it around behind, and then take the strand on the right and put that through the opening there, and then cinch it up. Okay, so that's one. I'm going to tie two more. And get that all the way up to the end there. So go a little quicker around there. And push that through. I think we're going to actually tie four snake knots. So again, bring that around that through here. So third one. And the last one. Bring that around and push that through. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> now make sure that's really tight. And now the last thing to do is tie the exact same double diamond knot on this end, okay? So we're going to do that again, and I will just go through that quickly via time lapse.
All right, so I got my second diamond knot, uh, double diamond knot tied. So I'm just going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to cut off the excess paracord, melt it, and then um, tuck it in so it looks the same as this side. Okay, and there we have it. We are done. So all that excess paracord has been snipped and singed off. And you know, on second thought, you probably don't have to melt it before you tuck it in. It probably just made it a little bit more difficult to uh, tuck it in, but I don't know. I had felt the need to do that. Maybe it'll somehow prevent it from coming unraveled. But that's it. This is the second iteration of the uh, paracord knuckle bone. Not really knuckle bone, the knuckle roller. The knuckle bone is this awesome guy from around square. We're going to do a review on this right now but anyways more on that later but yeah this one is ready to be played with and I don't know I like that increased length um, compared to this uh, first version and I think it's a little more just having that um, those snake knots in the middle just makes it feel a little easier to uh, play with because it's, it's a little bit thicker and it's a little more rigid so I like that so there it is, guys. I hope you like it. Um, the second version of the Knuckle Roller. And yeah, definitely check it out. Let me know what you guys think down below. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.